Hey, good morning, and welcome to the Europatient Podcast. I'm your host, Vic Sinise. We meet every Saturday at 10.30 a.m. Central Time. And if you're watching us live, we're on YouTube and Facebook Live every week. And you can always watch our on-demand by going to our europatient.com website, where you'll find all of our past episodes. Also, the best place to go to get any of our handouts, we've got a bunch of them, so go and check those out. Every program I put out, I have a handout with valuable information for you guys. So let's get started with our show this week. So this is a test your doctor may have ordered. Now, I spoke about your dynamic study, which is considered an invasive test that can be done to evaluate your prostate blockage and how well your bladder is working. This is a non-invasive way of checking that out, and we're going to talk to you about that next. It's called the Eurocuff. So if your doctor or healthcare provider has ordered a Eurocuff for you, this will tell you what it is, what's involved, and more importantly, how you need to prepare for it. So let's go ahead and roll the footage. Your doctor has ordered a Eurocuff test for you. So what does that mean? What is a Eurocuff test? How long does it take? All reasonable questions at this point. In this short informational video is about the Eurocuff test for diagnosing bladder function. In this video, you'll learn about what the test entails, why it's performed, and how it's performed. In short, it's simple, it's fast, and it gives a tremendous amount of information to your doctor about the condition of your bladder and your lower urinary tract. The bladder is the body's other pump. It is responsible for the storage and emptying of urine. In order to properly diagnose your urinary tract issues, the doctor needs information about your bladder performance. Bladder function can be assessed by evaluating how much it holds, how hard it squeezes to get urine out, and how fast urine actually does come out, amongst other things. As you can predict, a healthy bladder holds urine well and doesn't have to squeeze hard to get urine out quite quickly. Over time, that pattern can change. And that's what the Eurocuff evaluates. How hard your bladder has to squeeze, how much fluid is in the bladder, when you feel like you're full, and how quickly urine comes out as a result of the squeeze that the bladder generates. The bladder stores urine as it is generated, then empties when it's full. The tube that empties the bladder travels through the prostate gland, which looks like a donut with the tube from the bladder going through it. As men age, the prostate gland can swell and restrict the urine flow from the bladder, much like a valve that's too tight. To compensate, the bladder has to contract harder to get urine out each time, which ultimately damages the bladder muscle. This can result in significant symptoms, like waking up at night to go to the bathroom, having to urinate frequently, bladder infections, and other serious symptoms. To determine the performance and current health of your bladder, a non-invasive Eurocuff test will be performed. This test will indicate how hard your bladder is squeezing and how fast urine comes out, which is the pressure-flow relationship. When the bladder can gently squeeze to get urine out quickly, it is healthy. As the prostate begins to restrict urine flow, the bladder pressure has to increase, ultimately to the point that it has trouble overcoming the restriction. This highly pressurized condition is not healthy for your bladder and will ultimately cause damage to the bladder muscle. If the condition persists, the bladder loses its ability to contract completely and a urinary catheter must be used to empty the bladder. The Eurocuff test provides a snapshot of your bladder's performance for the best Eurocuff results, you'll need a comfortably full bladder before the test. Plan to drink 32 ounces of water 30 minutes prior to the scheduled testing time. We recommend that you bring a water bottle with you in case you need to drink more while awaiting your appointment time. Notify the front desk upon your arrival that you are here for a Eurocuff test. Should you get an urge to urinate while waiting, please notify the receptionist and he or she can expedite your test. The Eurocuff test only takes a minute to perform and nothing goes inside your body. Before the test, the clinician will apply sticker electrodes to your abdomen and pelvic floor that will read muscle activity. Then you will be provided a disposable sensor to void through into a special commode. 
Lubricant needs to be applied to the end of your penis or the disposable sensor to help create a seal. The clinician will instruct you to hold the disposable sensor up to your penis with the device centered to the hole at the tip of the penis where urine comes out. It is important that the disposable sensor be centered for a good test. The clinician will then start the test by pressing a button on the instrument. You will hear a pump in the instrument running as it makes the seal. Then the pump will stop, indicating the seal has been made. At that point, the clinician will instruct you to void. As you void, the device will apply a gentle pressure to the urine stream as it exits the body. Your bladder performance is determined by analyzing the changes in urine flow while the urocuff applies the gentle pressure to the stream. The test is over when your bladder is empty. The disposable sensor can be disengaged from the penis by gently applying downward pressure between the sensor and the penis. Once the seal is broken, the device can be discarded and the sticker electrodes can be removed and discarded. That's it. At this point, the test is done. After the Eurocuff test, your doctor will receive a report on the results. The Eurocuff will provide insight into your bladder's performance and health, which will assist you and the doctor in developing a clinical plan. The doctor will be looking for several data points from the test, including the relationship of how hard your bladder squeezes versus how fast urine comes out. The doctor will also consider how much urine you voided and how much was left over in your bladder after the void as well as the chemistry of your urine. There are many contributing factors, all of which your doctor will discuss with you when developing the right care plan for you. There are many treatment options depending on your bladder's health and current condition. Having this information from the Eurocuff is critical when evaluating treatment options like medications or procedures. Accurate and complete information is critical when making any clinical decisions. So I hope you found that uh, helpful because it's uh, why we're here. Try to make all this stuff a lot easier for you. I think knowledge is power. Knowing what your procedure is going to be and what you're getting into is huge. So as you can see, this is totally painless. There's really no big deal to doing it. It's just like almost as the same as taking a natural urination. So just be prepared to come in with a full bladder because that's the most important part. Um, don't worry, you don't have to study for this test. But anyway, hope you enjoyed Euro Patient Podcast. See you again next week.